It's Friday, so let's have a fun size art lesson. I was going to start with a different topic today, but I decided I should go in the order in the ways that I actually do things. Unlike other paint mediums, oil paint takes a little more work on the front end, though some of these processes could also apply to things like acrylic painting. So today we're gonna to talk about how I prep my canvases. The first thing I do is attach my hanging hardware. I know this seems totally backwards, like hanging a painting on the wall is the last step, so why are you doing it first? Well, because in order to attach it, I need the canvas to be face down, or at least upright and highly handled. An oil painting is going to take weeks or even months to dry enough to be able to be handled this much, so I do it on the front end. This also means once I'm done, I can hang it up and out of the way and let it dry before I varnish. These little sawtooth hangers are my personal favorite. They are called hangs, with a Z, and are available at most craft stores and online. They mount flush inside the canvas frame, so the painting sits flush against the wall instead of leaning out at all. First thing I'm going to do is measure to find the middle of my canvas and mark that spot. If I'm doing a particularly wide or large canvas, I'm going to split that spacing into roughly thirds instead of the middle. I'm going to take my sawtooth hanger and make a little X where each screw should go, just like this. Now a Phillips head screwdriver is all I need. I also like to stick these little rubber feet to the bottom corners of my canvas to help keep it from hanging crooked at all. You can add these before or after painting. Now to flip it over and prime. You can certainly buy unprimed canvas and do all the gesso, or you can make it a little easier on yourself. These canvases are already coated twice, but I like an even smoother surface. These steps aren't totally necessary, but it's how I do things. First, I'm going to do another coat of plain gesso and apply it with a wide brush. Then I'm going to set it aside and let it dry for a bit. Then take sandpaper and smooth out any bumps or bubbles. And yes, I have another step after this, but it is also optional. Like some artists like to sketch on toned paper, I really like to paint on toned canvases. Not only does it give me a good mid-range of color to start with, but it helps me see if I have missed any spots. There are no rules to the color you choose to tone your canvas. Some people like to stick to something close to what the finished painting color will be. Others like to use a complementary color to make it easier to see areas that may need more coverage. Some like to use whatever extra glob of paint they have laying around in their studio. And some people tone with an umber, no matter what. Any of these options are perfectly fine. For this painting, I'm going to be working on another painting in my Ocean series, so I'm going to go with the blue. All I'm doing here is mixing some blue acrylic paint with my gesso. Like before, I'm going to completely coat it, let it dry, and then lightly sand it again. There, now my canvas is ready to be sketched on so I can start my painting. It definitely takes a lot more work on the front end, but in the end, it's ultimately going to save me a lot of time, which is greatly appreciated since it's going to be at least six months before this painting is done and dry and ready to be varnished. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about any other processes, please let me know. I'm here and happy to help.